My name's Anna Stanford. I'm Head of Communications for the RES Group. So what technologies is RES active in? Well, RES has um, built its business on wind energy. We, we're an international renewable energy project developer uh, with offices around the world and we've been in the business for more than 25 years. And most of our business has been built on wind. Um, but we're now active in a whole range of different renewable energy technologies. So um, as well as doing onshore and offshore wind, uh, we, we develop and build a large-scale biomass plant, large-scale solar, but also increasingly um, renewable energy technologies for heating and powering buildings. So we have an on-site division that provides um, projects uh, like um, wood field heating, um, solar PV and solar thermal heating. So the government announced last week the launch of the Renewable Heat Incentive. What, what does that mean for you? Can you explain what it's about? Well, that's particularly exciting for us for the on-site part of our business. So we've invested heavily in uh, renewable um, heat businesses in wood energy um, and future heating. They're two subsidiaries of the RES Group. And they deliver biomass heating systems and solar thermal heating systems. So the government's announcement of the Renewable Heat Incentive last week is particularly exciting for them because it means that we can expect huge expansion in the renewable heat business, um, in the renewable heat market market in the UK. And what is the current heat situation in the UK? Um, at the moment we only get about 1% of our heat from renewable technologies and the renewable heat incentive that the government has announced will help to drive this up to 12%. About half of the UK's carbon emissions actually comes from heating so we've always said that heat is half the problem um, on climate change and it's really important that we address that. So that's part of the reason why the government has launched the renewable heat incentive and basically it provides um, a guaranteed income for anybody who generates heat from renewable technologies from biomass boilers from solar um, solar thermal systems um, it gives them guaranteed income and that's paid quarterly and it's metered as well so that it's all monitored through a heat metering system so it means that it makes good sound financial sense for commercial organizations and industries to install renewable heating systems like biomass boilers and solar thermal systems so we expect there to be huge expansion in the set in the in the market and it means it's good business for for res so what other benefits will there be from the renewable heat incentive? Well, as, as well as reducing carbon emissions quite significantly and reducing our dependence on fossil fuels, um, it means jobs and it means really important economic benefits for the UK. Uh, currently the UK really lags behind other European countries when it comes to renewable heat. Um, but this means that there's going to be a lot more support for particularly small to medium sized enterprises that are in the market. Um, there's going to be real development of uh, technical skills. Um, it means a lot more technical and financial support for engineers and consultants and installers of all of these heating systems. So I think um, the whole of the sector is really excited about a potential expansion in the renewable heating businesses. So what's the future for Res's heating business? Well, we've developed um, a commercial biomass heating and solar thermal um, delivery and capability um, expertise, really, that's second to none in the market. And we provide um, systems for the public and the commercial and the industrial sectors. Uh, we've built um, biomass and solar thermal heating systems um, for a whole range of clients from schools and hospitals and leisure centres. Um, and now we see that we expect there to be huge expansion in that. So really it can, only, it can only get better and we're looking forward to helping the UK meet its important renewable heat targets. Thanks Anna.